I was just in uh, Starbucks and getting a cup of coffee and on the no in the nobody gives a shit surveillance camera of one left behind like really important person in the nobody gives a shit about her part of New York uh, where they fucking left her in the fucking command commode with the fucking dirty ass everything uh, I spoke to one like there's here's the thing there's, like, the day I wake up in, and that part, and then there's, like, the third watch, which I said, honestly, I met some, uh, really, he said he was, like, the dirty kid of their, like, like he's a respectable, but he heard that New York had been changing, um, and he said that some white lady told some of his relatives, which actually tipped him off to a stay out of trouble in a new way, right, he says, because he spoke Spanish, and it, I swear to God, it was like fucking jungle Korean. Oh, my God. Like, ooh, I, oof. Uh, yeah, uh, right. So he's like, right, uh, he's like, I forget. And he says, you know what? He says, you don't speak Spanish? He says, because I'm going to say, I'll, I'll insult you, and then you insult me, and then we'll be even. He says, because uh, if I tell you that you speaking English, New York English, down wherever you just came to visit, uh, an inspection of the third watch, right, um, third watch, right, W-A-T-C-H, not the third Reich, since, right, whatever, uh, could be third Reich, I don't know, uh, so anyway, whatever he said, uh, he was like, your, um, the story that they told me about you sounds like, uh, um, tin on rails, oof, oof, and I'm like, He's like, now, when I, where I come from, that's, a, that's like a sign of disrespect because you're saying, like, you're in the part of the jungle where they have the big pot of important money-making product of natural kinds. I hear you're a fan of natural medicine as opposed to, like, the synthetic drugs everybody's pushing for where you are. I'm like, right, I'm listening. And, but, you know, on the streets, like, like, this goes for a big value, but then, like, there's the other people not so happy. I'm like... Right, got that, so, and he's like, right, he's like, so, oh, I don't know, hmm, I'm gonna think about that one for a minute, and I'm like, right, uh, okay, so now, here's the thing, so, uh, it, it, who is, like, is that what you were labeling free lunch? F-R-E-E-L-U-N-C-H with the Goodwill program? G-O-O-D-W-I-L? I'm just asking. Because I see, like, there's a fucking piece of shit William in some prince racket in English London uh, in some castle called Buckingham with some fucking meat-eater guards with some funny hats that dance around like toy soldiers with guns behind the gate, no less. Not even, like the National Guard of the U.S., <laughs> exactly. But except we don't have quite as many, and they're not dressed as fancy. They're in cat's camo pajamas, because, like, budget's real tight on this one. Only world security on the fucking line. Jesus fucking Christ. Right, so while William's got the meat eaters <laughs> in big bushy hats with nice... Nice uniforms. Looks like you, they walked right out of the nutcracker. Right? I'm sure they fucking are. Right? But they hide behind the gate with the guns. Right, yeah, just in case anybody gets a funny idea like to unlock the gate. I mean, it's like, duh. Right, but like the kid that's got the sonar that comes out of her mouth and poisons us all. Yeah, let's leave her in New York in a fucking cesspool with no fucking National Guard, no guns, no social security, no whatever. Claims she's a tax evader. Tax evader from what? It looks to me like the fucking lady you're protecting with the fucking nutcracker with the costume. She'd be the tax evader in that scenario. Stupid. So now, I'm just curious, so this Goodwill, right, her fucking piece of shit cunt, like, popped out a Charles, looks like a fucking, I don't know, like, Ben Gel Tiger little monkey, like the little Marmalax that steal all your fucking food, and then eat creepy, like, what are you gonna do about it? 
I got, like, meat eaters where I'm from, and I don't come out from behind the gate. Right, yeah, got that. Okay, so, like, real world, hello. Um, so, then he had a kid, Will. Right, yeah, so, uh, is the Goodwill program the thing that you pop me, the actual goddess and the actual royal, through holes in time and space for some mad scientist program? Right, to make good with the kid behind the fucking gate of nobody gives a shit. Why the fuck is the guard not turning on them? They're evading taxes. Just fucking kill them. Why are you protecting them? While the rest of us fucking starve? I'm just curious. Because in my lifetime, um, not when I went to pubic school in New York, PS31Q, same one my fucking last kid goes to, Without a name ceremony. Um, right, so us too, right? My day in era in 1980-something, no free lunch in New York City public schools. Right, okay. So in uh, my shitbag son's, like, Johannes, like, really important kid. Yeah, exactly. And his sonar ability of, like, retrieval and how are the humans treating us, sweetheart? Because this is our simulation. The rest of them really don't pop in and out of time and space. Like, um, I mean... <laughs> Right, like us, because uh, we are in charge of the program and the process, and mom comes in a special pair with your genetic father that doesn't show up daily because Elizabeth's in the castle somewhere evading taxes, blaming it on your mom. Right, yeah, that's more like what actually happened. So now I'm curious, all areas stupid fucking and useless. Where do you, like, I just said to the girl inside Starbucks, I'm like, this is not going to bode well. If, I said, if I say the word bode to you, you ever heard of that before? She's like, no. I'm like, all right. She's like, what does it mean? Like, like it's not going to go well? I was like, exactly. It's not going to go well. That's a New Yorker right there. Uh, in actuality, I was like, in distinction, I was like, what it means is you're, you have a, like, a, like a bow, like a, it, you know, there's a bow or a flex in something, and there's a point of pressure on the bow, right? Like, think of, like, a bow, a bow, and it's starting to flex, and it's starting to, like, hurt. It, but it's the point of pressure's in the wrong spot. It needs to actually be moved. I was like, and if you don't, I, I was like, oh, and here's a second definition for you. I was like, if we're, like, in, if there's a body order, say, in a hierarchy of life, like, in a command or protocol, like, area, there's a body order. Somebody has to be in charge. She's like, right. I was like, okay. So, you've got B-O, body order. I was like, and then if it's a mode, M-O-D-E, like a moving anything, I was like, then it's Bode, B-O-D-E. I was like, currently, I am in a body order that looks like I'm super not important my whole life. I was like, but the command is actually very important. Here I am in non-important lifestyle, and it's messing up the Bode between the bow flex and what occurs. So she's like, and again, it wasn't those exact words for the shitbags that check every fucking definite, definite. I mean, it's roundabout. That's exactly what I fucking said, not down to the word count. But I don't fucking owe you pieces of shit anything at all. I'm not building you goodwill. I'm not giving you drugs of synthetic. I'm not building you bridges, money, cars. I'm not building you schools. I'm building you a gigantic fucking cliff that you fucking pushed me off of into a fucking cesspool. And I'm going to let you float there until you fucking die off because I want to get the fuck away from you all. That's how disgusting this is. So now here we are at, there was some mid-size SUV that I stood up for with some grandpa because he was somebody special in Don Juan territory that could confirm I poofed. Um, then there was a Johnny Depth of some sort. I don't know, he had a depth of personality I was going to run into, maybe, just so he could keep his one line of understanding for one trustworthy scope that was not exactly Michael or White, but his kids were really good looking. I had already confirmed it. Right, okay, good. Whoever Johnny Depth of personality is, great. Okay, his grandpa knows who he is. Uh, one white lady likes you. She, she'd say she loves you, but then she might make some other white guys upset. 
So we're going to stay off of that one. In fact, I think she had to have a pap smear by one of your medics, or not medics, but maybe he is, because now he's a mid-sized SUV. Good, that kills like five birds with one stone. Great, okay, moving on. Um... All right, so, uh, oh, and then there's, like, because I had to run into, like, Tia Freya, right? Like, then it's, like, oh, she said everybody, listen, I was three and four. I had, like, the yaya's boobies of, like, the poor kids that were, like, really, really nice to me, which I thank them for, but, like, my uncles, but then, like, I didn't know how, if, how are they out in the world? Like, yeah, Cliffy, I could see, he, he's, like, a scrapper. I get it. Like, no, like, he'll scrap with you. I get it. But, like, uh, Tommy does it. He says he's not built that way. Like, he doesn't look for fights. Like, he likes, he's like me. Like, he's like, no, oh, okay, ahead, Cliffy, you go fight for the two of us. I'll stay over here and just keep quiet, and I'll try to figure out how to save the rest of us and the niece that we had shared together. Right. Okay, so now, here's the thing. Uh, so, there's some of you built for fighting, and there's some of us who are built for better things, and there's some of us that would like to help, just maybe you didn't give us an option of, like, the right job function. Um, so now... Um, there's some kid, John DeCipio. Like, uh, apparently Sachem had some strong Long Island boys. Uh, got themselves into some trouble, but whatever, I wouldn't mess with them. But, uh, right, they're not like the Long Island, Cold Spring Harbor, like, Yaya's boobies. Right, yeah, no, they weren't like those. They were like tough, poor, like, like, like tomcats fighting in the alley. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so, but the kids that in Cold Spring Harbor were like wishy-washy and like, like my dad's in charge of like the musical industry. What the hell does that mean? I'm a Jew and I'm a Hebrew. Good. Oh, could, words I don't know. Could you define that for me? They could. The kids that you all popped out this fucking bag of useless in the colostomy in lost in New York doesn't fucking know what a Jew is. Doesn't know what a Hebrew is. That's because I go to. I'm gonna have a bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah, and I I read Torah and I speak Hebrew. So that makes you Jewish, is what you're saying, or Hebrew? And so now why? Like, I know this is an important function on world political shitbags to get this shit straight and to not make fun of you all. But when you come to my face and you can't even define for me what a fucking Jew is and why it's so fucking important and why you're all so fucking, like, defensive of it, shut the fuck up! The Catholics, they're not so happy either. They're still fighting with the Protestants over the protest of the tax evader hiding in Buckingham Palace that they forgot to inform the Jews about because they were afraid the Jews with the, like, Korean-looking rabbi were going to fucking cut them off at banking level. Are we, like, clear? And the I don't give a shit and we all lost our shit in colostomy bag. Great. One body order, one command, you're in a commode, and this is not going to fucking bode well since I'm in year 2020, age 42, all by my fucking lonesome. By the way, I met John DeCipio. I'll give a mention of one person that's responsible, handsome, and whatever. A good depth of character. Goes along with the mid-size SUV if you're on good looks. Although John's got a nicer nose, but whatever. It upsets that side of the family and bulldogs and I don't know what. Um, and then, oh right, and then like Joe's like, oh, you got like a, I, I'm, I'm cousins with Ralph. I'm like, who? Ralph Macchio? Right, he's like the karate kid. You see the movie? I'm like, right, oh, oh yeah, no, I saw that movie. He's like, he lives down in Huntington. Like, you, do you know how many people fucking live on this planet? I don't have, like, a Rolodex and a directory, and I don't know which one of you is important and knows Nikki. Apparently, the Machio family of mid-sized SUV and the Decipios, they got my fucking number and knew that I'd be coming their fucking way, but nobody knew how to derail me from meeting Tia Frio or Romer. I really think 